Hopefully we'll reach that potential today. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, because if you, I mean, actually, yeah, that's a good point, like, because I, I just, uh, I just meme him up. I don't know, like, it's the thing, with, with the Fallers Vanguard, I just skip charge altogether and focus on orb, orb and shield boost and just run around shooting stuff without spamming shield boost, so it's kind of like a tiny little weapons unit. It's just, I mean, it's gimmicky, and then obviously... On most occasions, I'll just do a melee build with him. I like to meme, meme it up a bit. Alright, let's buy a premium pack. See what we can get. Maybe for mental focus or two. Or power amp for our pistol. I'm easy. I'll take what I can get. If it ever comes. How many capacitors? Eh, Stronghold 2. I like Stronghold 2. More Stronghold, more better. I guess that's that's why his shadow strike is weak. He's using power. He's using cyclonic far, not power amp. Yeah. Use that kind of build. Is it? Is it because it's? It, it bugs out everybody else, or or what? To be fair, it is a good utility build. Like, I'd like it more if you could score points with it. Like, in, in Andromeda, you actually get support points. But it's, uh, in, I guess, in, in Andromeda, it's a bit... It doesn't... It's a lot weaker for a defensive mechanism. Like, the fact that you can, like, get an invincibility frame with a well-timed shield boost, you know... Pretty much tack... You know, with good timing and some good cooldowns, you can tank... Quite a bit with that, with that, with that power. By the way, I already charged into an enemy and had a grenade at my feet. That's, that's good. Yeah, because uh, well, because think of platinum is it, and you know to a lesser extent gold. It's a DPS race. You know, it's about getting the kill kills out as much as possible. You know. Best survivability, best way of survivability is uh, to make sure the enemies can't can't kill you by you know killing them first. Like I said, I I usually use them as a gimmick build. I guess uh, using a following the paladin around and using versus up to it with that with the cry snap freeze would be. Good setup. The shame, like these, part, like phase disruptor wasn't put into a uh, into the Earth Mastery. Like, I feel like it should have been. Phase disruptor, Hawk missile launcher.
Yeah, even when it's staggered, you can't hit. You can't really hit. Can't really hit the uh, guardians with face drop turn. I tried shooting it behind them, but I don't have much luck. Try now. Oh my! I, I think I did a bit of damage there. Yeah, I think he had his back towards us there. And still weren't getting it done. Whatever. What are you using there, Varma for the Sentinel? Got a tech burst earlier. I feel like I robbed that one. We've Use Baltic Slash, eh? Shame we don't have uh, any shield boosting skills at Nero's. I found the Slayer kind of weird. Got to do tech tech explosions, though, I guess. Yeah, if I, I mean, I guess for serious, for serious gameplay, okay, maybe the ball is slow down, but uh, the Slayer and Smash Guard are probably my two least favorites. So at least I can turn into a, turn the Wall of Vanguard into a bit of a meme, but outside of that, ugh. can't really meme it up with the Slayer or the. Uh, Can't really meme it up with the Slayer or the Smash Guard.
Nah, it took something longer than I would have wanted. Yeah, like I like you know, Hawk missile launcher, base disruptor. What else could you add to that Earth Mastery challenge? Uh, nothing wrong with the Smash Guard. Nothing fucking right with him. I mean, I'd like the Smash Guard more if he had a quicker cooldown. I don't think he'd be overpowered with us with. A cooldown that didn't like why why three sec like the Krogan Vanguard has as a has the same charge time. So the Slayer, I don't understand these slow charge times on him. He's so weak. I feel like the only way to make him decent is to just skip charge and use smash and lash. Not gonna Apparently I'm not gonna use my thing anymore, my uh disruptive uh, not first disruptor, ah. acolyte shot. Uh, I just don't still like him. Like I've I've already I think I've said it loads of times already on stream, but if he if he was if he had like a quicker charge and uh, melee synergy in his in his charge evolution uh, I think he'd be a really fun class, but and but you know the whole issue where I I mean this this is something I've come across, but I just find that he just lo always loses shields as he's coming through. Like it feels it feels like he takes damage mid charge. I mean, being that the Dragoons are known for being, like, melee units, you'd think that they would have, like, some good melee passives on them. But it said it put him over the top, but I don't think it'd be overpowered. You know, he's still a vanguard, and his animations do have, you know... I mean, his light melee is, you know, whatever, that is what it is. But, like, heavy melee does leave him out in the open and vulnerable. It doesn't have, uh... What do you call it? Not like S Smash, where, like, Smash can go through walls. I'm pretty sure the, the melee for the, for the, for the, uh... For the, uh, for, it, for the whip, the heavy whip melee attack, I'm pretty sure that has to, you still have to be out in the open, I don't think that goes through walls, so it's not like he'd be overpowered, he'd be pretty vulnerable to be honest. But you know, we're at armchair developing here for a game that's like past, well, is it past, I guess past its prime, whatever.
You know, I, I will say this, I do like Biotic Slash on the on the Slayer, but uh kinda wish it was I don't know. I just rather go full, full passives with him rather than you know three sixties in a What the hell? Oh. Three sixes and a and a three I can't even see that smart grenade literally covering him up. I mean, I've tried to slay her with a, a, a chargeless. That damn just stupid shadow just blocked me from getting a melee attack in. Anyway, um, I would say, um, uh, yeah, try, try, you know, try to uh, build with uh, without charge with like multi capacitor and shield batteries and uh, eh, don't. Don't max lash or passive. Squad what do you do? Just far, far. I know. I'm kind of in the same camp as uh, when it comes to lash. I try to treat it the same way as I treat pull. Like it's all or nothing. But I enjoy lash. Anyway, I mean, I've skipped lash on him before, but uh, kind of felt naked without it. God damn. I think both the turrets got me there, right? I can't move. Fuck. What the hell is that? Oh, she froze. Oh, dead before I even switch my weapons. Oh, punch me. Yeah, see, I knew it. Punch me out of my charge. I thought the wave is, would be over by now. It seems like it's going on forever. God damn, why is there a guardian there? Is it just us? No, it's three of us. Three of us. What happened to the boy? Did he get, did he get got like immediately? God damn it. I hate that shit, where like the guardians can just punch you out of a charge, like they can see, like, they predict it in the future. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a super aggressive, like, attack. I got 30 points for, for that Guardian. Put it away. Yeah, but I usually just put a piercing barrel on in that case. I usually have a piercing barrel or something on the weapon that can take care of that without any issue. Oh, 
Oh, I hate to say this, but it's a shame I did. You know, it's actually weird me saying this, but it's kind of a shame that we didn't get Vancouver or uh, London this session. We did do a lap with each class, so it's not too bad. <sighs> I think Earth Master, I think we've done the uh, Piranha. Was it Piranha, Rio, and Acolyte is what we've done so far. We're close to destroy destroyer extractions. Ah, for fuck's sake. And I would like to thank you hey, cubes. for giving me the best day of my life. Oh, just to be with you is having the best day of my life. I hate to be rude, cubes, but uh, are you real? <laughs> you never know with these, uh, with all these hotspots running around at Twitch. Oh god, oh god, there's seven people here. <laughs> I was gonna close the stream, but I, I guess I, I guess I gotta raid, find someone to raid now. Oh really? You really gonna do me that like that game? Hey, Sphere, Sphere versus Sphere versus Cubes. Which is the better shape? Bite it to the death. I mean, they're not even in the chat, so who knows? <laughs> Do I even have? An I don't think I have enough to buy it. Ah, I don't have enough money. Need to buy two jumbos anyway because of that minus thing. All right, bomb out. Thanks for the games. I've got shit to do, P things to eat, and I should probably take a nap. Oh, mic transmit. Do go go. Wrong the cubes. I don't know. Depends if you're into sharp damage or uh, blunt damage, right? <laughs> Structurally, yes, but you can't really. Spheres end up having. Can't, you can't really control because you just roll away. But cube, just <laughs> wrap it on. Don't move. You know, which one would you rather have? Something that can, that can be controlled or something that's more of a rogue entity? We're overthinking this, aren't we? Alright, who's live? Johnny Sins? Not to be confused with uh, that Johnny Sins. Anybody play Mass Effect 3 that I, I'm i still allowed to raid? I can raid, I can raid whoever the fuck I want, but I ain't raiding no dogs. Uh, they're playing single player. Yeah. Okay, this guy's playing the new Far Cry game. So, have a, have a gandhi at him. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you for the games. Do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you, get, you all have a good day. I'll probably be back on in about 
during the night time. That's the plan. I'm going to probably stream in the evening. So it'll probably be like mid afternoon for you Americans and uh, Canadians uh, and whatnot. And I'll probably be playing Bloodborne. So that'll be fun. Raging and dying. A hunter must hunt and all that malarkey. Beats all over the shop. Alright. You all have a good day. And I'll see you later.